Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video, I will show you how to find out if the ISO file is bootable or not in any Windows computer. So without any further more delay, let's begin. So here we'll use two applications. So I will show you one by one. So firstly, what you need to do, you need to open any web browser and you need to visit to this website. I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and visit to this website. Once you log into this website, you can see it's download. Just download this software named as Magic ISO Maker and install it on your respective Windows computer. So after installing, what you need to do, just open or run the software named as Magic ISO Maker. Here you will see so if you want to try it or register or buy now. So don't worry, you can use it by just clicking on try it. So here you can see it's user interference. So what you will do, you can see on my desktop, I have two ISO files. So let me show you its properties. So you can see here, these are ISO files, as you can see here, dot ISO, even this down one also, the ISO file. So Lord, let's find out if this, both the ISO files are bootable or not, or whether one is bootable or whether one is bootable or not. So let's find out. So what I will do, you can directly drag and drop also. So in my case, it's available in the desktop. So let's just select the desktop. So here I can see my two ISO files, name is build and win 10. So let's find out the first one. So I'll just double left click it. So you can see it's showing non bootable. So this file is not bootable, name as build. So let's find out the second one, the win 10. So you can see here, it's written bootable. So the second one, name as Win10 is bootable. So using this magic ISO, it's very easy to find out one is bootable or non-bootable. So this is just a simple way without checking the respective ISO with user interference. So just by dragging or finding out whether it's bootable or not, you can get confirmations by using these applications. So this is all about the first application. So for the second application, once again, you open any web browser and you visit to this website. I'll be providing this website link to in the video description so you can click there and log into this website. So once you log into this website, you can see a software name as QME Simple Boot. So this software is totally free of course. So you can just scroll down below and you can see your download options. So you download and install it in your respective Windows computer. So after installing, what you need to do, just open or run the applications. So after opening this application name is Qmo Simple Boot, you can see it's user interference. So here you can see a bootable media. So we'll be going to check the ISO, just select the ISO. And now what you need to do, here you can see, select or drag and drop the CD or DVD. You can just drag and drop. So let's find out this first. ISO file, just let me drag and drop. So it's ready. Now you can click on start QMU test. Wait for a few seconds. It's detecting. So you can see here it's written non bootable device. So this build ISO file is non bootable. So we'll check the second one, the Win10 ISO file. So just let me drag and drop again. Now, after dragging drop, just click on start QMU test. Wait for a few seconds. It's analyzing. So, finally, we're seeing the Windows is loading files. So, it's bootable. So, you can see here, it's bootable. So, we'll wait. So, you can see it's Microsoft starting Windows. So, it's bootable. The second file, the Win10. ISO file is bootable. So using these two applications, you can easily check whether the ISO file is bootable or not very easily. So if you never known about the school applications, then download it today. And if you're in need of such kind of applications to find out ISO file is bootable or not, then you should definitely try this under one of these applications. So if you find this video tutorial useful, click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to your channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.